Hello students, how are you all? Well, today in this lecture, we will be solving 10 numericals. So, these are the two uh, formulas that you need to know. This one, the first one is when resistances are connected in series. And the second one is resistances when connected in parallel. Okay. Let's see the question number one. A battery of 9 volt is connected in series with resistance of 0 0.2 ohm, 0 0.3 ohm, 0 0.4 ohm, 0 0.5 ohm and 12 ohm respectively. How much current would flow through the 12 ohm resistor? Okay, now write the given values. Now total resistance R is given. That is your, when we add all the resistances, we will get R equal to 13.4 ohm. V is also given, that is 9 volt. Now we have to find out the current I. So the formula is V equal to IR. Now solve it by rearranging it I equal to V by R. Now put the values for V it is 9 and for R it is 13.4. Therefore the current I will be your 0 0.67 ampere. Okay. Now current through 12 resistor is equal to 0 0.67 ampere. Now see question number 2. Just the equivalent resistance when the following are connected in parallel. 1 ohm and 10 to the power 6 ohm. B, 1 ohm and 10 to the power 3 ohm and 10 to the power 6 ohm. So see here, for A, 1 ohm and 10 to the power 6 ohm are connected in parallel. So therefore, write the formula 1 by R equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by 10 to the power 6. We will get after solving it r equal to 10 to the power 6 by 10 to the power 6 plus 1 which is equivalent to 10 to the power 6 by 10 to the power 6 that is equivalent to 1 ohm now see it is equi the equivalent resistance is 1 ohm okay but it is less than 1 ohm so now for b 1 ohm 10 to the power 3 ohm and 10 to the power 6 ohm are in parallel therefore again write the formula for resistance is connected in parallel now by putting the values and after solving it we will get R equal to your 0 0.999 ohm. Okay so therefore equivalent resistance equal to 0 0.999 ohm. Next is question number 3. An electric lamp of 100 ohm, a toaster of resistance 50 ohm and a water filter of resistance 500 ohm are connected in parallel to a 220 volt source. What is the resistance of an electric iron connected to the same source that takes as much current as all three appliances and what is the current through it? Now first write all the given values. Uh, for resistance of lamp R1 equal to 100 ohm, resistance of toaster R2 is 50 ohm and resistance of filter R3 equal to 500 ohm and your potential difference V equal to 220 volt. Now we have to find out the resistance of iron, the current through the iron. So the formula we will use 1 by R equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 and V equal to IR. Now solve it. Let R be the equivalent resistance. Okay. Okay. Now write the formula and by putting the values, we will get the value for R equal to 500 by 16. Okay. Now keep it as like that. According to Ohm's law, V equal to IR. Now I equal to V by R. Now put the values for V and R. For V, it is 220 divided by 500 by 16. Okay, so it is your I will be 7.04 ampere. Now 7.04 ampere current is drawn by all three appliances. So therefore current drawn by an electric iron connected to the same source of potential difference 220 volt will be your 7.04 ampere. And therefore its resistance is R equal to V by I we will get 220 by 7.04 equal to R equal to 31.25 ohm. So therefore current flowing through iron is your 7.04 ampere and resistance of iron equal to 31.25 ohm. Is that clear everyone? Alright. Now moving to the question number 4. How can 3 resistors of resistance 2 ohm, 3 ohm and 6 ohm 
we connect it to give a total resistance of a 4 ohm b 1 ohm so r1 equal to 2 ohm r2 equal to 3 ohm and r3 equal to 6 ohm so see to get the r equal to 4 ohm the circuit is as soon so attach the resistors of 3 ohm and 6 ohm parallelly to obtain a total resistance of 2 ohm which is necessary than the lowest individual resistance see here r2 and r3 are connected in uh, parallelly where r1 is connected in series okay so we can obtain rp equal to 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 therefore we will get the value by calculating rp equal to 2 ohm since rp and r1 are in series therefore r equal to rp plus r1 so we got the value for rp2 and for r1 it is 2 as you can see it here therefore r equal to 4 ohm now to obtain a total resistance of 1 ohm from the three resistors of 2 ohm 3 ohm and 6 ohm the all the three resistors should be connected in parallel okay so see here all the three resistors are connected in parallel therefore 1 by r equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 now by putting the values by calculating it we will get r e equal to 1 ohm okay okay let's see the question number 5 an electric lamp whose resistance is 20 ohm and a conductor of 4 ohm resistance are connected to a 6 volt battery calculate the total resistance of the circuit the current through the circuit and the potential difference across the electric conductor and lamp so this is the circuit now write the given values for resistance of electric lamp that is r1 equal to 20 ohm resistance of conductor r2 equal to 4 ohm potential difference v equal to 6 volt now we have to find out a the total resistance r the current i the potential difference across lamp v1 and the potential difference across conductor v2 the formula we will be using rs equal to r1 plus r2 potential difference v equal to ir now let's solve it for total resistance rs equal to r1 plus r2 okay now add the values rs equal to 20 plus 4 equal to rs equal to 24 ohm now the total current i i equal to v by rs now we know the value for v and rs right now put the values i equal to for v it is 6 volt and uh, rs equal to 24 ohm so therefore your current i will be 0.25 ampere now for c i the potential difference across the electric lamp that is v1 equal to i into r1 okay now put the values v1 equal to 0 0.25 into 20 we will get v1 equal to 5 volt now for 2 that is the potential difference across the electric conductor v2 equal to i into r2 therefore v2 equal to 0 0.25 into 4 okay therefore v2 equal to 1 volt so the answer will be your total resistance is 24 ohm the total current is 0 0.25 ampere potential difference across lamp is 5 volt and the potential difference across conductor is 1 volt okay now question number six is in the circuit diagram given suppose the resistors r1 r2 and r3 have the values 5 ohm 10 ohm and 30 ohm respectively which have been connected to a battery of 12 volt calculate a the current row is resistor b the total current c the total resistance okay now write the given values r1 equal to 5 ohm r2 equal to 10 ohm r3 equal to 30 ohm v equal to 12 volt now we have to find out the effective resistance the total current and the current in each resistor that is i1 i2 and i3 okay so you can see here i1 i2 and i3 
we have to find out the is current in each resistor the formula we will be using for the effective resistance 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 now for total current we will be using v equal to i r okay now let's solve it for one 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 now put the values okay so after calculating we will get your rp equal to 30 by 10 therefore rp equal to 3 ohm okay now for 2 i1 equal to v by r1 now put the values we know for v equal to 12 volt and r1 equal to 5 so your i1 will be your 2.4 ampere now for 3 i2 equal to v by r2 okay now put the values we will get i2 equal to 1.2 ampere 4 that is the i3 equal to v by r3 we will get 12 by 30 after calculating it i3 equal to 0 0.4 ampere now for 5 that is the total current we have to add all the uh, three currents okay so add, uh, add it up after adding we will get 4 ampere therefore your answer will be effective resistance is in sorry in parallel is 3 ohm the total current is 4 ampere and current is in resistor is 2.4 ampere 1.2 ampere and 0.4 ampere so got it the current in each resistor is this one now for question number seven if in a circuit diagram r1 equal to 10 ohm r2 equal to 40 ohm r3 equal to 30 ohm r4 equal to 20 ohm and r5 equal to 60 ohm a 12 volt battery is connected to the arrangement Calculate the total resistance and the total current flowing. Okay, write the given values for R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. And the potential difference V equal to 12 volt. Now we have to find out the total resistance R and the total current flowing I. So the formula we will use 1 by Rp equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. And the total current I equal to V by R. Now solution so let us consider rp1 be the equivalent resistance of r1 and r2 for this r1 and r2 let us consider rp1 as the equivalent resistance so put the values we by solving it we will get rp1 equal to your 8 ohm okay so calculate it by yourself these are the simple mathematical calculations okay now let r p2 be the equivalent resistance of r3 r4 and r5 now for r3 r4 and r5 let the equivalent resistance be r p2 now write the formula 1 by r p2 equal to 1 by r3 plus 1 by r4 plus 1 by r5 okay now put the values then calculate it after calculating we will get rp to equal to 10 ohm so the answer is see if r1 and r means rp1 and rp2 are connected in series now for the total resistance we have to uh, add these two resistances the equivalent resistances that is rp1 and rp2 therefore r equal to rp1 plus rp2 by adding we will get total resistance r equal to 18 ohm and for now current i the total current i i equal to v by r now put the values i equal to for v it is a 12 volt and that resistance is 18 so after calculating it we will get i equal to 0 0.67 ampere so the total resistance of the circuit is 18 ohm and the total current is 0 0.67 ampere question number eight so how you would connect three resistors is of resistance six ohm so that the combination has a resistance of nine ohm and four ohm okay so what are the given values for r1 it is 
6 ohm, R2 equal to 6 ohm and R3 equal to 6 ohm because it is said that when we uh, connect three resistors, use of resistance 6 ohm. So therefore R1, R2 and R3 will be your 6 ohm. Now we have to find out how to connect to get 9 ohm and 4 ohm. Formula we will be using 1 by RP equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Okay. And RS equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So see here, now to get 9 ohm, we have to connect the three resistors parallelly. Okay. So R1 and R2 are connected in parallel. Now putting the values and after calculating it, we will get RP equal to 6 by 2 that is RP equal to 3 ohm. Okay. Now RP and R3 are connected in series. Okay, we will connect RP and R3 in series. Now for R equal to RP plus R3 equal to 3 plus 6, that is 9 ohm. Okay, now to get a combination of 9 ohm, R1 and R2 are connected in parallel and R3 is connected in series with them. So see here, now to get 4 ohm, R1 and R2 are connected in series. And R is equal to R1 plus R2. So, R is equal to 6 plus 6 that is 12 ohm. Now, R S and R3 are connected in parallel. Therefore, the, by writing the formula and by putting the values, we will get 1 by RP equal to 13 by 12. Therefore, RP equal to 4 ohm. So, to get the combination of 4 ohm, R1 and R2 are connected in series and R3 is connected in parallel with them. Is that clear now? Now say question number 9. What is A the highest, B the lowest total resistance that can be secured by combinations of 4 coils of resistance 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 12 ohm and 24 ohm. Okay. Now see here given R1, R2, R3 and R4 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 12 ohm and 24 ohm respectively. Now we have to find out the highest equivalent resistance and the lowest equivalent resistance. So let's solve it. Now for A, to get the highest equivalent resistance, these resistances should be connected in series. So all the four resistances should be connected in series in order to get the highest equivalent resistance. So write the formula. Now add all the resistances, we got resistance equal to 48 ohm. Now for B, to get the lowest equivalent resistance, these resistances should be connected in parallel. So connect all the four resistances in parallel. Write the formula. Now by, by putting the values, we will get the value for R equal to 2 ohm. Okay. Now last question is, how many 176 ohm resistors connected in parallel are required to carry 5 ampere on a 220 volt line? Okay. Now what are the given values? The voltage is given, that is your 220 volt. And the current is also given that is 5 ampere. Now the resistance of a single resistor R is equal to your 176 ohm. So we have to find out the number of resistors that is the value for N. Now the formula we will use is V equal to IR and R equivalent equal to R by N. Okay. So this is the uh, formula for the equivalent resistance of n resistors connected in parallel keep this in mind now let's solve it now v equal to ir r equal to v by i so uh, mark it as equation 1 r equivalent equal to v by i equal to 1 equal to now put the values 220 by 5 we will get 44 ohm r equivalent equal to 44 ohm now R equivalent R by N, rearrange it, N equal to R by R equivalent. Now we know that R equal to your 176 ohm and R equivalent is 44. So N equal to 4. The answer is 4 resistors of 176 ohm are required to draw the given amount of current. Is that clear? So these are some important questions. Try to practice it and solve it by yourself. And do not forget to share the link with your friends. Okay. 
and if you uh, want to do the live classes or what's the recorded classes then download our app Nikhatra the link is given in the description box so thank you everyone take care bye bye